Saturday's Group 5 Regional Championship game was a rematch between West Jersey Football League American Division squads, and it went well again for Williamstown High School, which jumped on top of Cherokee 16-0 with two touchdowns and a field goal in its first three possessions. The Braves allowed just one first down in the first half and ran for 146 yards on 23 attempts as they asserted their dominance of the line of scrimmage. You know, I feel like just everything that we had, I feel like they just really struggled to stop our run game, you know. We just kept pounding and pounding. That was our goal. Coach told me this weekend practice that I'm going to get more reps, you know. We're just going to try to pound the ball, see if they can stop it. The running game just works for us, you know. We've been working for it all, all season. O-line works their butt off every week. It's really how it worked out today's game. I just want to thank the O-line. Cherokee opened the second half with a defensive stop, but couldn't build on it. The Chiefs' first offensive play resulted in a fumble and a short field for the Braves. Huge, you know, that's like kind of put like the, the cherry on top, you know, come out really just try to just try to crush them, you know, keep the keep the foot on the on the throat, you know, just pound it and just end the game. Turner Inge's second touchdown gave Williamstown a 23-0 advantage. The Chiefs fought back with a pair of touchdown passes by Billy Osborne in the second half, but they couldn't close the gap. Williamstown took home the win 30-14. So proud of them because those guys are the guys that you know fought and, 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 and kept it going. When you're when you lose four in a row going into the playoffs and you're three and five going into the playoffs and, and they just kept the attitude, kept fighting, kept grinding. Just very proud of those guys to help you know to, to, to set a tone to go ahead and try uh, and, and turn our program uh, turn the corner on. Them. Do I think we could have played better? For sure. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't take anything away from the fact that I'm very proud of what these kids have done uh, and, and, and the way they fought. Williamstown avenged last year's loss to Sayreville by finally going the last step. We had a mission since last year, you know, to come back, you know, make it right. That was the plan, the whole goal. That's our goal the entire year, and we completed our mission. From Rutgers Stadium in Piscataway, this is John Lewis.